I think the one country, two system has been very successfully uh, implemented in Hong Kong. Um, if you look at the um, sort of global institution survey recently uh, released, Hong Kong is ranked number three as an international finance center. And in the uh, city competitiveness study, Hong Kong ranked number seven. And in terms of safety, Hong Kong ranked number eight in the world. So Hong Kong has maintained its international status. And particularly, I think the uh, central government, Beijing, has really been uh, totally committed and dedicated to making the one country, two system work for Hong Kong. We just have to continue to upgrade ourselves so that during different phases of the country's development, Hong Kong can play a different role. And, and I, I particularly at this point in time, is very, very keen for Hong Kong to play the commercial hub role for the Belt and Road Initiative. Um, of course, China has taken the lead to invest and work on all the Belt and Road projects, but the resources, the money that's required will simply be not affordable by China on it. So no country in the world can do that on their own. And Hong Kong can play that commercial hub to continue to utilize, allocate, and integrate national, uh, international resources to go and invest into the more economically viable projects in the Belt and Road projects. And I think that is going to be for the benefit, not just for China and Hong Kong, it's actually beneficial to the whole world because we will be opening up new markets, helping those developing countries to develop themselves. So these are all roles that Hong Kong can play. And I believe it will continue to be uh, the role of Hong Kong and in, in, the, in the near future, like in the Greater Bay Area, Hong Kong can also play a very special role.